Greetings, VAC fans. Today, I have a wild and wacky airflow only test. So see this Marshalltown gauge here? Suction, water lift, also converted to kilopascals. Suction does not come into play with this test at all. So I'm going to put that off to the side. Got a Baird meter for airflow. And I have a Dixie cup, or maybe some people just call it a small water cup. And I have a comb actually to help me align the Dixie cup, the leading edge, on the 12 inch mark. Now what we're going to do is we're going to try two different vacuums. One's going to be a Bissell, one's going to be a Kirby. They're going to have radically different CFM measurements here. And we're going to see if I can get as close as I can, because this isn't going to be the most precise test in the world, see when this cup starts to actually take off. And I'm going to put the hose nozzle over uh, to this side so it's going to go that way. So let's see actually what happens. Let's go and measure the CFM first. First up shall be the Bissell. All right, what you saw was a one, and that's about 55 CFM. So 55 CFM, let's go and do our precision laboratory grade alignment with the comb. So the leading bottom edge of the cup is at 12 inches, and then we'll go ahead and actually move the nozzle uh, around in this direction to see how close we can get it before the cup just starts sliding. See if we get lucky. So about 55 CFM, what's going to be the distance? All right, there's three inches. There's two and a half inches. There's two inches. One and three quarter, and it just starts sliding at one and three quarter inches. So one and three quarter inches and 55 CFM from this nozzle diameter just starts the Dixie cup to move. All right, let's go and take a Kirby Centria 2. Let me show you the Baird airflow meter result. Okay, so a 10 on this airflow meter is 110 CFM, and it actually maxes that out. Um, I measured the Centria 2 at the hose end being 120 CFM. So let's do our precision comb alignment again. All right, we're at the 12. Now let's see when the cup just starts moving. And because this Centria has so much more airflow, <laughs> it might slide rather quickly. Alright, I'm going to average this because this isn't perpendicular. I'm just going to average this. So here we go at 3 inches. We go at there we go. That's it, right there. So that was two and three quarter inches. Remember, unfortunately, because this is slanted, you have some of the airflow coming from a little closer, some of it coming a little farther away, so I just averaged it in the middle. So quite a difference. Anyway, this is just fun and wacky airflow test that shows, right, Without any suction, it can move lots of Dixie Cups. Well, imagine if you put dirt in the Dixie Cup, or imagine if you put dirt right here. It would suck it right in. And massively increased airflow picks up the dirt, well, not only more completely, but also faster. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.